We are at St. Patrick's Cemetery, Terra Hill, Dixon County, Nebraska, southwest of Newcastle. In the early 1870s, a group of Catholic homesteaders of Irish and German descent settled in the Daly Township of Dixon County. In 1874, Catherine Imelda Donahue, the one-year-old child of Michael and Jane Donahue, was buried here. St. Patrick Church was built here in 1882, built by parishioners who hewed and hauled logs and lumber from the river to Terra Hill. The location is named after Terra Hill in Ireland. In 432 AD, St. Patrick visited the original hill of Terra to confront a pagan king. According to legend, Patrick plucked a shamrock off the grassy hillside of Terra and used the shamrock's three leaves to explain the church's doctrine of the Holy Trinity, the three persons in one God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. He was so convincing that the king agreed to let St. Patrick continue his missionary work and spread Christianity throughout Ireland. This Nebraskan hill must have reminded the early settlers of their Irish homeland. Originally a mission of St. Peter's Catholic Church in Newcastle, St. Patrick at Terra Hill was first served by Father Michael O'Toole. In early days, the priest came every two weeks by horse and buggy and stayed at parishioners' homes over the weekend. In 1888, a tornado struck the church, but did no other harm than just to move it eight inches off of its foundation. On February 2nd, 1969, St. Patrick Church was destroyed by fire. The roads had been rendered impassable by deep snow, so mass had not been held that Sunday morning. That afternoon, when flames and smoke were seen shooting heavenward from the summit of the hill where their beloved church was located, all the parishioners could do was watch and pray. A smoldering pile of ashes was all that remained of St. Patrick Church by the time they could reach it Monday afternoon. The heat of the fire had been so great that the church bell had been melted. The 14 families of the parish joined St. Peter's in Newcastle. St. Peter has since taken the responsibility as caretaker of Terra Hill Cemetery. A memorial was placed here commemorating St. Patrick's Church. Searching the archives of the True Voice, I found the following poem written by William Gordon recited on the 60th anniversary of St. Patrick's Church, July 1942. As the sun slowly sinks beneath the vast plain, all the world seems so restful and still, I gaze oh so fondly o'er fields of ripe grain at the church that crowns old Terra Hill. Alone it stands out in the purest of white, God's mercy it seems to portray, a symbol of love, a star of the night, bidding sinners to kneel and to pray. This simple white structure on hilltop alone is revered by all far and near. Its love lies deep-rooted in sinew and bone and the hearts of the old pioneers. The old parish church, if permitted to speak, could relate stirring tales of real life, of heroic deeds performed by the meek, humble, God-fearing farmer and wife. They brave freezing blizzards that blindingly swept or dug out in home built of sod, and in the time of misfortune said prayers as they wept, imploring the mercy of God. In all of these trials, no woman or man in this sturdy band that came west 
to build on the prairie and follow God's plan, lost faith that their sufferings were blessed. So out of it all came a little white shrine, so quiet, so peaceful and still, a place where much brighter the sun seems to shine, the church atop old Terra Hill. And all of these years, some fifty or more, this haven so crude of design has beckoned to all who are heartsick and sore to share in Christ's mercy divine. So tonight as I gaze on this beacon of light, I'm sure that no picture can fill the place in my heart or cause such delight as the old Terra Church on the hill.